Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the big piece that I decided not to use for the ridge pole as a brace to make it easier to tie this side off. Before we do that, we've got these little twigs here, and on our ridge pole here we need to get off. We've got the condor bush lure. So, as with every beginner and any time they do something new, I'm probably going to mess up right here. Never tied a ridge pole this big. I've only done smaller ones for hanging backpacks and gear and stuff. But we're going to try. So, I think you can see it over here. I'm going to brace this into the ridge pole here so I can tie it. Uh, we're going to get it started with a clove hitch on the ridge pole. And we're going to do three wraps around it. And then we're going to do three fraps around the wraps that we made, tie it off, and then hopefully on this side I'll be able to I'll be able to show a clove hitch better. All right, we got how we want it. Good overhang on each side. Short height. My thumbs free. Okay, so I'll try to explain as I do it. Clove hitch, you're going to go around, and you're going to go around again, but leave it kind of loose, so that you can go up through that hole you just made. And boom, try to get tight. Now, I'm going to take it around the tree. This is where it's going to get hard. I didn't give myself enough slack. Little Sergeant Knott's paracord. Tuck it back in there. Going behind. Behind. Come back around on this side, go over. Gotta go behind. This side. Go over. Good. I already feel like this is not going to work out well. Can't get it right till you practiced. I hate to just throw this in the snow, but that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so and then ideally you want to try to keep this as tight as possible, which I don't think I've done a good job doing so far. But if I wasn't in a hurry, I'd take the time to get a little stick to get it more taut. Alright, now we're gonna go back around. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this and hopefully have enough. I hate to waste paracord, but for the sake of time constraints. Okay, where were we? Alright, so we're going over this side. Over, around, over, around, over, I think that's three, and then we're going to do, yep, I didn't leave myself enough paracord.
Darn it, darn it, darn it. So now, I have to improvise. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I am the quick knots. Know where to make your corrections if you don't make mistakes. All right, so that was one, oh, two, four. Nice and tight, hopefully. Ooh, that looks sloppy, don't it, guys? Oh, well. As I said, I mess up. Two prongs. Make our second one loose. This is not a little fair cord. It's a tree if I'm fumbling around. We're just going to tie it off right here. <laughs> We're going to do this the easy way, which I hope will still work. Right. Showing those guys make this look really easy, don't they? But I'm willing to bet it wasn't that easy for him the first time. Or the first couple, I'm sure. I'm struggling. I'm worrying about the camera and this taking too long. I'm not focusing. Focus, focus, focus. One 
one more. I think we're good here. Oh, that's not pretty at all. That's not pretty at all. She's holding. I think. Okay, try to show you guys this way. I do a clove hitch. Go over, and we're going to go around, cross, leave it loose so that we can take this right through there. Want a little bit more slack. All right, move that over a little. Then, just for extra security, put a quick little knot over the top there. But now I'm going to redo it and do it on this side of the notch. But I showed you guys. All right, now hopefully this side will go easier. Our clove hitch on. Go ahead. Like that. Make sure we're going to get this. Just about level. This is lower than I wanted it to to start off with. But. All right, so we're here. We're going to go down, around, see, and I'm already realizing the mistake I made on that, that, that side. Should have taken the time to make sure the first time, well, and every time around, I don't go down too far. All right, so then we're there. Over. Oh, oh, slipping. Slipping, 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 slipping. It fell down. Who knows what that's from? Over. Around. Over. Around. Over. Around. All the while trying to keep it as tight as you can, obviously. Last time. Over. Over. Now we're going to do our fraps. Get that first one real good. One. Two. Last one. Three. Now, put the tie off. It's going to be a lot easier this time. Watch. See how easy? That was so much easier than the first time. You got to try. You got to practice. You're going to make mistakes like I did leaving my knife way over there. Going home. All right. Got a good feeling about this side. We'll find out. Leave a little more than I need. 
cut away from yourself. Record on the ground. best way to do this tie off. I'll let you guys know. I'm trying something new on this side here. I think we do that one. Get her nice and tight. And maybe one more knot on top of it for safe measure. Extra. Come over here. Tie it off one more time. What the hey? What the hey? Barry, we got enough. We're gonna make it happen. Oh yeah. I'm ready for a warm cup of coffee, I know that. Okay. Wow. One second. This is actually hysterical. Look at this. First time trying it, obviously. And it did, oh, tripod's too tall. And it did not go good. <laughs> did not go good at all, see? Right here, went down way too far. I should have been keeping it level with the ridge pole right around. So you come over to this side. Still not professional, but a heck of a lot better. And there you have it, guys. Ridge pole. Now, obviously, this wasn't me telling you how to set up a base camp because... I may be a beginner, I'm not stupid, I wouldn't tell you to set up a camp right there. It was just what I had to work with in a pinch. So, I'm going to I'm gonna do the test. Feels really solid. That side, not so much. I'm a big guy, so that side's slipping. But, it cinched down a little. How about this side? Slip down a little bit, but, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No stand. I'm going to leave this because this is going to be where I bring Leighton out to get her started. And we'll redo this and I'll show her the right way to do it. So, I hope you guys learned something from it. Uh, these are just the first couple videos. There will be more coming out. So, YouTube land, until next time. And glorious, glorious woods, until next time. <laughs>